motorcycle adventure Dirt Bike TV, supported proudly by Adventure Spec in the UK, Rally Raid Products, Giant Loop in the United States, Adventure Moto in Australia, Pirelli Tyres, Motel Oils, RK Chains and Australian Adventure Bike Magazine. Okay, Clubby's got his camera. Got to do some work now. Come on little Honda. It was about a year ago since Andrew Club, the editor of Australian Adventure Bike magazine, and I tested the mighty Honda CRF 300L Rally. We certainly gave it a workout, and the first thing we found was the suspension was way too soft for our bigger bodies. But apart from that, the bike impressed us. Handling was good, the Honda engine was bulletproof, it could skip along at highway speeds courtesy of an overdrive six gear, it had an old style frame that made it easy to bolt on accessories. It was comfortable and had a long fuel range. And finally, it was light to throw around. We both longed to do a bike build on this magic little red rooster that we firmly believed would become an adventure dragon slayer. Clubby and I aimed to spend no more than 30% of the cost of the bike during the build. I'm pretty sure we're not going to achieve that goal, but let's see how we go. By our reckoning, we've got about $4,000 Australian to spend. In the second episode, we installed Rally Raid suspension front and rear and fitted Pirelli tyres designed for the dirt. In the third episode, Unifilter paid us a visit and we were chuffed to be the first in the world to receive the newly produced air filter kit for the bike. In this episode, we fit a BMB tail rack, bash plate and polysport metal handguards. We examine our budget total up our costs and talk about the future of this bike. Nugget is planning what he describes as a decent test of our Red Rooster. I'm glad we're fitting the bash plate because I know we're going to need it. But with Clubby around, the chances of those green polysport handguards getting on this bike is none in Buckley's. So, a couple of days ago, Miles Gooch from Unifilter came over and We've fitted a beautiful foam air filter to our bike and he's given us a Pro Comp um, two-stage air filter kit. Now these are available on Unifilter on their internet site from Monday. So that's Monday the 11th. So anyone who's interested in that, you can buy them all over the world. You can just order them through the Australian um, Unifilter site. So today Clubby's come over, it's a Saturday, and we've got some things to do, Clubby. It's build time, Dave, isn't it, mate? Yeah, T-bars. Yeah. yeah. And that's going to put a lot of fear in a lot of people that know me well. It's no, Clubby I on know. the T-bars. So yeah. you're a very, very trusting soul, Dave. Yes. yes. But in my defence, I have put together and taken apart and then put together again a few bikes over the years and mostly succeeded. So I, I think that. we should start the controversy fairly early. So remember our budget for this was 30% of the cost of the bike. So that works out at around $3,000 I think. Now, now was that your line of thought or were you succumbing to your audience? I was succumbing to, to the audience, the punters, they wanted that. And who calls the shots at these projects oh, Dave? Is it your well, channel or their no, channel? Well, ultimately, ultimately me and right. I think my chances of doing that as a flogging to nowhere but along the way what we want to do is make sure our audience know how much it, it's cost us yeah. now let's yeah. just be clear straight up front um, mad tv is supported by a whole range of people and any of these bike builds we get all all the accessories free and that's marvelous but at the end of the day we pick the things that we want we don't we don't just pick anything and um i think that's an important part but yeah definitely um, we don't pay for any of this, nor the, the fitment or anything like that. But what we do do is we select, for example, we always thought that the BMB uh, tail um, rack was really high quality. And the reason we picked the BMB bash plate was it looks bloody good, and BMB makes some cracking foot, um, gear. So that's where we stand with that. Um, but having said that, we're going to keep the retail prices and fitment prices so you're all aware. So we've done the Rally Raid uh, Level 2 kit and that was $1,800 all up. Yeah, but that's going to be the best $1,800 spent on this bike. We're Absolutely. We're united on day one, don't we? We were united on this. But now things get dicky because I'm looking at this bike now with the Rally Raid Series 2. 
that is a truckload of ground clearance. And if I was to keep within our budget, I can't afford, I can't afford a bash plate, handguards, and our tail rack. And I'm just wondering, you what know, is, what, is that it? Well, that that what would be our budget. What if I want to decent big foot pegs for my big clod hoppers? Mate, no? we're, we're over budget. What about my say, favourite soft pillow top grips? I can't eat them either. I think we're over budget. But I, I just make that point. But anyway, we'll, we'll make sure we add it up. But Clubby, if we were fair income and we were going to keep, keep to the budget, mm -hmm. I think we'd have to decide between a tail rack and a bash plate. Oh, well, well my vote's for the bash plate. And bash plate. Okay, like, well, mate, that's got a truckload of clearance. Yeah, but you think what you're going to do with this bike now. Yeah, Nugget has rang me up. Throw it anywhere. <coughs> like, there's no reason not, not to, to take on anything on no. this little bike. Little Red Rooster, to yes. quote you. Mate, I'd be wanting protection down there, no matter yeah. how much daylight is underneath those frame rails and the engine cases and yeah. the bodywork. There know, is like, a very proud uh, oil filter yeah. nut down the bottom. Yeah, the little the drain bolt. Yeah, the drain, drain bolt. Drain yeah. bolt, that's exactly right. So, yeah. now my vote's for the bash plate. Yeah. I could live without the old rear rack, I think, mate, because yeah. the Coyote will still hook up to the plastic guard. Yeah. You can still fasten there. Little yeah, I suppose you, could, you can fasten the, the, the Coyote, the GL, from the back of these. Oh, but it'll slip on. But you know the thing with this, if, 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 you know, I've got the eye, you know, one of the things this has got to do is a big desert run. Yeah. And yeah. the great thing about this plate, this rear rack, mm -hmm. is it's got rotor pack fitment there. You know, yeah. so you can you, yeah. you you give yourself the range quite easily, and you can put water on those as well. Yeah, of course you can. Of course you can. So my priority, if I really didn't have any more money, I would be going the tail rack first, then the bash plate, and you say the other way around. Well, I'd be going the bash plate. Yeah. I'd go the rear rack if I can just squeeze that in, yeah. and I'd sacrifice one of the polysport guards. <laughs> Just have protection of the throttle housing because you need that, that to ride. Yeah, that's and a good I can point. Just, and I can protect the clutch lever with my fingertips, mate, <laughs> if I don't have a police board on that side. Yeah. I don't know, mate. You're getting close there, Dave. I, mean, oh, I know. It's you, tough. You've got to be real world in this as well, mate. I know yeah. people want to adventure on a budget. Yeah, I think I'd be saving. Just bear in mind that I can see where... I mean, I know I'm a calm, cautious rider at all times, yeah. but such as yourself... <laughs> Yeah, I got Chasing a nugget. Yes. Out there in this swamp ride he's got coming up in two days' time, <laughs> this thing's going to need all the protection yeah. it can get, mate. Yeah. So uh, I'd be putting my vote in for that bash plate. For yeah, sure. I'll tell you what I do like on that bash plate mm -hmm. is, the, is the flare on this the, and, and just right around here, which I think is going oh, to be useful yeah, look, to protect it does, the... There's protection, but it matches also the, the, the style look of, the of the bike. bike you know? And yeah. it's a kicking-looking bike, mate. It's, it's wicked. Yeah. You know, compared to some of the other, like when we were researching bash plates... And some of the other luggage, rear luggage systems. Like, yeah. what about those ones we saw that were, like, you know how I originally yeah, said nah. to go some soft pannier racks? Yeah. Man, some of them, the width of them. Nah. And then mate, old mates are putting hard cases onto them. No. Nah. On this bike, I, I mean, nah, nah. I, mean I know you've got to have a lot of capacity for you travelling around the world on it. It's a potential around the world bike for sure. Yeah. But not with that kind of luggage load, surely. No, no, it's, a, it's a few. Goes again, it, mate. Uh, sure. My audience keeps reminding me about itchy boots, and, oh. and she, she doesn't have hard rack, hard no, panniers. Hard no. no, okay, mate. Yeah. yeah. Um, now, the other other thing I just wanted to talk about is weight. So we are adding weight to the bike now. So I've weighed this. The bash plate comes in at two kilos, oh, so and the rear rack comes in at one. That's light. Eh? And I'm currently eight kilos overweight. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so what's so, you worrying with three kilos? <laughs> I mean, with there, there's not even yeah. going to be a kilo in two polysports. So that's and plastics. So three days fasting, yeah, and I've won back the weight. So when I asked you about did you want a pie when I was on my way here, yeah. you were serious. I'm serious. I'm on my Simps Simpson Desert um, diet, getting weight my gut. I've got to get my gut out, and I've got to get a bit oh, stronger. Good on you, mate. Good on you. All right. No, I don't think the weight's a big issue, though. You've no. got to have this stuff, mate. Yeah. I mean, the thing's already packing, what is it, 152 kilos? Yeah. I mean, it's it, that's light by adventure bike standards, but it's not light by 300cc standards. No, no, it? it's not. So, it's I mean, not, you, you know, you're splitting hairs there yeah. if you're going to dispute three kilos of alloy bolt-ons yeah. that you're going to really need yeah. in time of crisis, mate, for sure. I can't wait, and I don't have the figure with me, but I can't wait to weigh my 701 against this... CRF because yeah. I don't I I think my yeah. 701 is either lighter 
or just the same, similar. but uh, very similar. similar. 150-ish mark. Isn't One f it? Yeah, it's yeah, really yeah. close. Yeah. yeah, you'd love to know where all the weight is on this bike. I don't know where it is. I mean, it's a big beefy subframe comes right. I think that's what it is. So I think the subframe that, might be it. I don't know, man. But and so much of the body, it's just air and daylight. It's just air. I know. It. It's not like it's a big mega fuel tank with no. drop sides or anything like that. It's just. I mean, it's a big steel pipe um, nav tower up there. Yeah, well, it's so bulletproof, there's, though. There's weight, and it's strong. You know? yeah, it's built yeah. strong, but yeah, it pumps up on the kilos on the, on the, on the weigh scale. All sure. right, we've talked enough. Let's yeah, get on with it. Get the tools out, mate. Okay, let's go. Oh, that's my tool. Hey, get off that tool. Hey, hey, that's, hey, hey, that's, hey, that's the rear end. I'm I'll just making sure end. that you're turning it in the right direction, Dave. <laughs> Not that I don't have faith in you, but... Yeah. Anyway. So, uh, Clubby's working on the Polysport hand guards. And, uh, yeah, decent alloy piece backbone. of alloy They've got backbone. an interesting bend, haven't they? They do. Yeah, I'd kind of be curious to see how they size up now that I've got the originals off. Yeah. But, yeah, like, I don't I, I wonder if all these different backbone handguard manufacturers have patents on it. Like, because it's always... Slightly different. Different. Like, look at the bends in this one. Yeah. If we put... That's your side, this side, easier to see. Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, it's kind of silly. Like, like this bend here, isn't it? Like, yeah. Anyway, we'll put them on, see where they all. Mate, they just stop those. Up, but stop those levers from getting broken. That's I all. I guess so. That's all that matters, mate. Exactly right. Absolutely. Yeah, so I'm just gonna get that off. There's a little washer there. Beautiful. Dropped. <laughs> Recording. So, Clubby, the tail rack is really well designed. You get these, um, I'll just show you, these spaces. And they go in there. That's just for the seat. And then these are countersunk. It's a countersunk hole. And it just goes in there like that. And Bob's your uncle. It's the same on the other side. God, I got the easy one. Are you doing the bash plate? One of the subscribers said the bash plate was tricky to do. We'll, we'll find out in a sec. So then you've got these spaces that go in the, the back there. And that's good. Ah, oh, that's a big one at the back. Yeah, so it fits well. I'll just, I'll just tighten that up in a minute. Okay. That is the tidiest design rear rack I've yeah. seen since the DRZ 400 they do. It's similar yeah, to that. No, it looks nice, doesn't it? Oh, it just integrates, doesn't it? It's perfect. And like, what did you say the weight was on that? That's a kilo. One kilo, but imagine it's how much... A kilo worth spent. Well yeah, but how, but how much crap can you strap onto that yeah. and be confident in it for something no. that is only weighs a kilogram? Yeah, no, it's brilliant. And it uh, install is very bloody easy, I've got to say. Yeah, no, that goes on well. well. I haven't seen the torque wrench come out yet, Dave, for the no, confirmation you... of these tension on these fittings. Oh, oh there it is! No, I was joking then! That's not the torque wrench. No. Oh, isn't it? No, Shit, it looks like one. It. I do have a torque wrench. I know Clive would be... Surprised about that. We should just show him just for the sake of it. Yeah. No, that's good. Right. I'll do me. That's done. Doesn't that look mighty fine? Oh, it just suits it, doesn't it? They've done a yeah. top job there. Great job. I don't reckon me. anyone would not spend the extra few dollars to get that black coating done. So that black coating, that's really resistant, isn't it? It's like Oh, it lasts, yeah. yeah. It lasts. Yes, it does. I mean, it's, it's I can't remember, 20 or 30 bucks extra. Maybe, probably not even that much yeah. on that. But yeah, it just to, in terms of like just matching the bike, it's a no. perfect finish. No. That, now I've got extra fuel capacity, so I've got 500k range now easily just with the rotor packs there. And there's other fitments for other different sorts of tanks. Mate, that's brilliant. And um, and I've got a great room there for my uh, giant loop setup. 
Yeah, the Coyote will go on there easy, won't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you just... And you might even have enough room just behind it for another little something behind yes, that, eh? absolutely. Yeah, no, that's good. good. All right, done. Good job on that one. All right. Here you go. All right, Dave, there's, it's, this um, Phillips head into the end of this, the bar end, really tight. Might need a bit of um, impact driving. Any chance you've got a tool like that here, mate, to help I, loosen I, that I off? I've got an impact driver. Here, here, here have you, mate. Have you got a hammer? I've got a hammer. <laughs> That's that? impact? Yeah. Is that what you want? There's, no, but there's another piece in between. The oh, God, look at this. No one knew. Look at that, Clive. I've got an impact driver. Have a go with that. Oh, look how well worn it is on the yeah, end, mate. Yeah, that's right. He's bent and he's blunted the face of the old uh, hammer as well. Yeah, so you just stick that in there. Yeah. And just, just get you to hold that for a yeah, second. Yeah, just go bang. Right. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. That's it. And that should oh, come out. Beautiful. Look at that. Some of your best tools there, Dave. Yeah, that hammer's been with me a long time. <laughs> Has it been around the world? Has it gone from London to Sydney? No, 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 no. Oh, that'll be good. <sighs> yep. So, I just want us to have a look at bash plates for a quick sec and this is what the Honda comes with it's a it's a thin piece of plastic now in many countries uh, particularly with the ground clearance of the CRF people will go oh that's all right you know that shouldn't be a problem but it is very thin and in Australian conditions uh, both Clubby and I just feel uncomfortable even though we've increased the the ground clearance with the the level two, and that's an Allen key in the back there. Mm -hmm. um, even though we've increased the uh, ground clearance, what bothers me most of all is in here, and we'll, we'll have a look at it soon. It's the oil drain nut, which is in here, and in a in a decent impact on a rock, um, you know, he could be unfortunate enough to clip that. Now, some of the punters were saying they had problems. Uh, fitting this bash plate, so it'll be it's interesting. Lining up we all go. these panels they mentioned, didn't they? Look, there's right. clasps here. Oh, right. Where it fits into the side bodywork. Okay. Uh, find it. Where's that head going to be? I can't see it. I've distracted you from your poly sport alloy oh. guards. Did you hear all that move? I think about four pieces of plastic all moved. It just in moved one in one thing. go. Yeah. Well, that's interesting. You got to get that other one off, I reckon. Can we get in there? Okay, so you pulled it off. All oh, right, all oh, right. Okay. Is there a lot in there. God, there's a lot of air in there, Clubby. Oh, well, it always struck me <laughs> Look about at this. Like, you could put. That could make that as a storage. You could put. But when in the there, first 250 rally came out, and it had a smaller fuel tank, right? Again. Yeah, yeah. It was just so much air in here behind all these glorious oh. trick-looking body panels. I love the body panels, but um, oh well. And now, see, so we've got more. See that? So that's ah right. What's that going to be? A total of six bolts holding this plastic dash right. load on. Yeah, right. Ah, now so it makes sense. But you know what? What are they? Are they? You got, Clubby, you'd be able to stick a tube in there. Oh mate, you could. Hey? Remember the old original days of Dakar? You had to have so many yeah. liters of water, and they all hey, had water carriers hey, in their dash plates. Volume in there. There must be two liters to use. Yeah. As long as, it, long as the item wasn't too weighty. Hmm. But it, it's the best place to have the weight. Right oh, down low there for yeah. centre of gravity. Mate. For sure, if you're going to do it, that's you, the place you, to put you it. You can almost put a one-man tent in there. You know? <laughs> you Mind you, it could be melted against the engine by the time you get there. Well, personally, I'd prefer to put a Hilton frequent flyer <laughs> card in there but, <laughs> rather than a one-man yeah. tent. Oh, look at that. Give us a look oh, at this. Sorry, so, yeah, there you go. That's what's, what's still yeah, between so, you and... All those um, Flinders Rangers rock farms, mate. Yeah, so this is this is a problem for us in Australian conditions. We just, yeah, we just, you know, in many countries, yeah, that'd be fine. You've got the, the ground clearance, but, yeah, there's a lot of vulnerability here. You crack that crankcase or, or... They've put up... Look, Honda have designed a little a nub on the... to prevent that being proud. See this... Oh, a little protection there. Yeah, yeah, they've got a bit of protection there, but still... You know, you could be unlucky. No, it's a decent sized tube frame too. There, there's a lot of weight in that. Yeah, probably. that's where the weight is on the. That's line, the where the weight is, isn't it? it? Like so the thing's built like a Sherman tank. Like it's built strong for. A I tell you, it's not built like a Russian T7. That's the for it. <laughs> it roof's not going to pop off it. Yeah. So what'd right. you say that bash plate weight? Two, Two kilos, kilos. Compared to what? A couple hundred grams. Yeah. That, if any. And that—that's a good point. Like we're we're adding. 
Yeah, it's probably 200 grams in that. So I'm going to say we're adding 1.8 kilograms by putting this other one on. Anyway, worth doing. Look, whoa, look at that. That is serious protection. So that goes like that. Hmm. And then we've got to put that front panel back in and mate it all up. Yeah, okay. And we've got to so, catch all these clasps. Ah, uh, that's the, the tricky bit. All right. And well. then they've given us, you get supplied a couple of extra bolts, obviously longer bolts to go through those centre yeah, uh, mount points there. Yeah. And then we'll okay. have to figure out where those other... Okay, so you get uh, four bolts. Probably now I reckon two bolts and two washers go to the rear and these longer bolts and these two washers go to the front. All right, let's see how we go. Just finger tightened it on one side. It was very hard, and not too hard, but you just had to fiddle to get it on. And we've finger tightened it on, on the back. So... I've got it sitting up now. A little bit of a fiddle. Get that first oh, yeah, one off. That second one just started straight away. Straight away, that was because it was a line from the yeah. first. Yeah. Okay. So they're on. Oh, that's not too shabby, eh? Oh, that's good. Okay. Let's look. A bit of lock tight on those. God, that just went straight in, Chloe. The fitment has been spot on. Oh, compared to some other bash plates I've done, mate. And it looks smick, I've got to say. Alright, that's only just finger tight for a minute, mate. Yeah, so, yeah, the audience member was saying, uh, yeah, I've got mine on now, Clubby, that one. Yeah, yeah you need, it's a two person job, this to. But I, I think before you congratulate you, yourself. Yeah, let's get this other one on. No, get your bottom one on. I want to see oh. you do the bottom one. Oh. I'll, I'll even come around and hold that. Okay. It's a line. What, what oh. worry, you know what worries me? Yeah, you got to feed that screw all the way through, son. You know what I'm worried about there? I think we'll put a bit of grease on that because. Grease? To, to stick it on. No, oh, no, to hold on to the. To hold on to the Allen key. That bastard goes in there. We are gone. <laughs> I am concerned about that. Spoken like a wise old spanner man. Yeah, I do not want to take that bash plate off looking for this screw. Yeah, that's what's going to happen, mate. Shh. Our, our audience member, I wish I could remember his name, because I think... Oh, all right. Okay, so I've glued it. If you get that first go, yeah, you'll what? I'm going to get you a job at motorcycle biz, mate. Well, guess what? You haven't got it, have you? No. No. How the hell? You, you, you know what'll help? I can go around the other side and look down and help align you, maybe. Can you? Okay. Maybe. Let's do. I got it. Yeah, I can feel it coming through now. Yep, you're on. I'm you're on. on. There you go. It's, it's just a two-person job. The manipulation of the plastic cowlings. Like it's... <laughs> it's just head spins, isn't it? Now. Let me just close it up, but am I? High or low? Okay. Yep. Now I've got to say I'm a bit fearful about this one. I've I've put grease in it because what I'm worried about is the thing dropping down in behind there, and then Clubby, we are knackered. Come on, Dave. You've got the other three. All right. Here we go. One to go. Oh, get out of it. What? I'm there. Oh, you should do brain surgery. 
How long was that? A half an hour? Oh, easily. Easily. But you know what? The reward is... Look at it. Look at it. But you know what's unreal? The bash plate took all of 13 minutes to install. Putting that one plastic cowling back in took 33 minutes, didn't it? It fits perfectly. There's nothing wrong with the fitting of it. It's just, as, as our audience member, and I wish I could remember his name, said it's a fiddle. It is a fiddle. <laughs> We're B&B. &B. I'm quite happy with that. That's yeah, nice. No, they're a good pair. Yeah, yeah. You wouldn't even like spot it, would you? It's like very yeah. well integrated. I love that word. Yeah. Anyway. Clubby, how's your um, poly sport alloy bars going, mate? I, I think oh, I, those little bar protectors. Can I just have a look at this nut for a sec? Can you just show me this nut? I reckon... It's not burnt nut. at all. It's not stripped. No, it's that not burnt. That nut I've seen hit the ground 20 times. It's funny. It's got this real it's magnetic draw. <laughs> I thought you were going to say something... To the something. South Pole, mate. I thought you were going to say something like it's a fucker. <laughs> We've already been talking about that movie today. Yeah. Okay, let's just... Yeah, I'll just... I, I've put it on slow motion because I've seen this so many... I want you to follow this, this nut because I've, I've found it three times after dropping it that many. I yeah. won't be fourth time lucky, I'm sure. Oh, where's the plastic? Here. This one. There you go. What do you got? Where's the plastic? Here, yeah, look at this one. Oh. It looked like a Christmas tree. Well, That's I think not... we're about to have our first real we're... dispute here, mate. <laughs> That's not going on. If you're running a Kawasaki KLX no. plastic foil on this little red rooster... It can't happen. You need it's... your eyes tested. Controversy corner. Sorry, you're gone, buddy. Right, yeah. Oh, God, I, I noticed his blood pressure going up. Oh, then, so. yes. And we've got to be conscious of my blood pressure at the moment. <laughs> Very conscious of it. colour match to the red. Yeah. The red works. Oh, it looks good. The oh, only, hmm? You know, there's one problem. By the time Nugget's finished with us on Tuesday, these are not going to look pristine. You may want the green ones on there to... Oh, I think you might for the record. search party coming to spot you out there in the yeah. the, in the banks of the Mile River, which yeah. is going to be 17 miles wide, wide, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I know. I don't up know up where there. he's going to take it. Um, right up. So what do we... I don't know if this is the best way to do this. Oh, you see the spark? That's handlebar. Now don't call me a microsurgeon for nothing. So, Cubby, we've got a pile of dust, dirt on my workshop. Well, we've had a very successful couple of hours, haven't we? Well, I think so, mate. The, uh, what, uh, the only, only uh, signs that we've uh, had any issues, yeah, is just a little bit of brake fluid down here. <laughs> I've tried to get most of it, but I can still see a couple of drops inside couple. one of those panels, plastic panels there. Yeah. yeah. But otherwise, no, all straightforward, wasn't it, mate? How good was that bash plate, actually? Yeah. But yeah. the plastic cowling above the bash plate, that was just a little that bit That was fiddly. fiddly. Yeah. yeah. They told us it was fiddly, it was fiddly, and yeah. it does need two people. So. Yeah, it does need to help with some alignment. That yeah. Rear rack, yeah. just too easy. That's just four bolts, Look at mate. That. That's yeah, that was... Yeah. Well, the God. horn works as well. So horn works, that. yeah. Yeah. And then um, the polysport. That yeah. like backbone uh, handguards, mate. So we kind of had a foul issue here, didn't we? Yeah. With yeah. the brake hose there, and we yeah. put this mount in a mount over or what I would call yeah, upside down to what know. I prefer. Uh, we had to move the actual brake line there where it yeah, mounts to the, the banjo bolt there. Yeah, yeah. To we the master that cylinder. Now and I, be interesting what others say about that, whether we've done that right. Someone will have a comment on that. Oh, I they'll comment. About, Don't you worry about that, Dave, yeah, for sure. That, that's the solution that we came up with. It may not be the right one. The other side was fine. Yeah, that was all. No, no issues on the left side, on the clutch side there with clearance and yeah. such and fitment. They yeah. look good. The only thing, colours are good match. The only thing is, you know, they're really shiny and they look great. And I, I, I'll be frank with you, I want to put the green ones on. I'll tell you why. No, not because because they weren't going to be on much because uh, Nugget's taken me out. Two days' time, these are going to get scratched straight away. But, hey, <laughs> that's the nature of, no, that's the nature of riding. Um, yeah, so the, the bash plate's great. We've also got huge ground clearance with a great bash plate. And you can change the sump plug. Yep, still access there to the drain bolt over yep. on this side, on the clutch side of the uh, sump cases there. 
Yeah. Um, so what have we still got to go, mate? We've still got the the mega dollar <laughs> yeah. investment in um, arrow. The, the budget buster, we'll call that. The budget buster, the arrow exhaust, which is going to put us way over. I think that'll make us into the forty percent category. But as I said, we'll we'll add everything up. But the three kilos we picked up on the on the uh, bash plate and the tail rack, we might lose a couple of those kilos with the uh, new muffler. Oh, the muffler will have a saving. Imagine what this thing weighs, mate. The amount yeah. of baffling in that, and it's all steel, mate. Like, it's yeah. going to weigh plenty, mate. Yeah. Yeah, so you'll get some kilos back there. Yeah. Um, what else is still to go, mate? That's the main thing, isn't it, really? Yeah, I, I, I'm pretty close. I mean, some people have been saying get an ECU for it. Oh, yeah, I mean... Oh. Yeah, again, that's dosh, but it, it gives you a lot more parameters. Like, yeah. when I had the 450L Honda, it yeah. had a full FMF exhaust system with a big fat bomber head on yeah. it, but it came with a Vortex ignition, yeah. which gave you so much adjustability, and it, it, it works. All right, like, okay. It's big, well, it worked on that bike, you know, mm. with that exhaust system for sure. Opening up the airbox we had to do as well with that. Yeah. Um, I'm sure it would help the 300, but it's going to be, yeah, more of that for sure. Yeah. And have you included, actually, I was thinking while we were working, have you included the luggage cost? In no, no, no. Like, no. Well, I, I see luggage cost. I mean, we will talk about luggage cost in the in the bill, but I, I don't see it as part, part of the setup, but some people yeah, may. I mean, okay. that's. Yeah. I mean, this is bike setup. But I, at the end of the day, you, you've got to have luggage or you can't go for an adventure on it. So. Yeah, but, but I think the cool thing there is, Doug, we're agreeing on the luggage concept, aren't we? Now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, giant blue, what, Diablo tank bag? I think Diablo. Yeah, I, I mean, Diablo. here, I've got a, a Fandango. Yep. Size yeah. that up, mate. Yeah, I'll just grab that for a sec. Let's stick that on. Yeah, I, I think that's a bit too big. Yeah, I think the Diablo. Back a rear. Yeah, I think the Diablo will be better for that. Yeah, and it's amazing how much you can still get into a Diablo. Yeah, well, like, the latest Diablo is a little bit bigger than the old one. Okay. Yeah. 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 So, and then definitely Coyote at the back. Definitely like Coyote. Not, yeah. Not great basin. No, great, great basin. basin is far too big for this bike, but a yeah. Coyote would be um, just spot on. You just tie it to the rear rack here. Yep. And your other fixture point is down here. Mm-hmm. And you're yeah. away. Well, we go, and again, I think on the back you've got enough there, you know, for 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 fuel if you wanted to, or a couple of other things, maybe a double-ended dry bag as well. Yeah, but I, I think also too. Look, when you had um, John Mitchison and on one of your um, films just recently, speaking specifically about the suspension. Yeah. And then the riding that he's done recently in Europe, Spain, yeah. Portugal, Te on his 300L, the trail bike. Yeah. But yeah, his his setup was tank bag, coyote. And then he was away for what, 10 days, a couple of thousand kilometres of trail trail riding on that one. Yeah. And it was just more than appropriate for what he was doing, no? No, no, that's right. So there you go. I, I think the bike's looking sweet. Um, yeah. You know, Red Roost is coming together. All right, so the next, hopefully the next video now is a ride with Nugget. We need to cover the bike in gaffer tape. Before we even start, cover you in cotton wool. Cover me in cotton wool, <laughs> and it just depends. Like the floods are so big up there at the moment, we don't even know oh, if we're going to get there. But yeah. irrespective of that, we are riding on Tuesday, and we're going to test this bike out. And we're really, whatever happens, we're going to take it to its design limits. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is going to be, you take this to its design limits, and. You're going to come out the other end, aren't you? <laughs> That's you right. You take bigger bikes to their design limits. And you might not come away. <laughs> That's... Yeah. It's a necessary evil with the big bikes. And that's the good thing about this little 300. So much Anywhere fun. you take it, you'll get it back out again. Yeah. Right? That's yeah. it. And you'll have a big smile on your dial the whole way. Yeah. It's days of the memorable rides when you're really tested. Yeah. All righty. Let's get going, Clubby. All right. Thanks, mate. Bye. Well, time to look at our spend so far. And the devil is in the detail. And I've included all the detail for those that like to scrutinise the ins and outs of the build. Total spend so far is $3,444.65, which is over our target of $3,000 Australian. The key cost driver is the suspension that took 70% of the value of the build. But you know what? Clubby and I always knew that was going to be the case. Some of the other accessories may not be essential and you saw a difference of opinion between Clubby and I. 
At the end of the day, you could get by without a tail rack or bash plate, but they're big decisions to be made. Apart from the suspension, I regard Polysport alloy handguards as essential to prevent lever breakage. Now, I finished with a survey that is in the community section of this channel and I asked the question, would you pay an extra 20% for the mighty Honda CRF 300L Rally if they upgraded the suspension to something close to, say, they have on their motocross range? I look forward to your vote and comments. In the song I sing, you're the man.